Welcome to Pink Caddy Garage. I keep seeing YouTube videos where guys are saying that they can restore old yellow headlights on your car using just toothpaste. Now I don't know how they thought of that, but kudos to them. But I just don't know. It seems like that is going to be a lot of elbow grease. So we're going to try it out. I went to the auto parts store and bought this kit for restoring headlights. And then I went to the drugstore and I bought this kit for restoring headlights. So we're going to test both of these methods on both headlights and see which way works better. Let's try it. We'll take a good look at both these headlights. This is the driver's side, which doesn't look awful, but as you get even with it, you can tell it's pretty faded. Hopefully that's on the outside and is fixable. And then we're going to move over here to the passenger side, which again, not terrible looking until you get down here. And that's pretty bad. All right, we've got our blue painter's tape on here to protect our paint. And uh, next step is we want to split this headlight to a left and a right side. And that way we'll make a toothbrush side and a restoration kit side so we can compare the results. All right, we're going to designate this to be our toothbrush side, which will go from this corner to the edge of the tape. And we'll do that second. First, though, let's go ahead and do our rotary kit side. I call it that because you need a, a power drill or something to use it. And we'll get started over here. So the auto parts store kit consists of some various grades of Velcro back sandpaper that go on this arbor that you put in your drill. We've got some 500 grit, which sounds pretty aggressive, some 800 grit, one 3000 grit, uh, a buffing pad, and then your compound. So let's get that 500 grit on and we'll get started. All right, we've got a stopwatch going up there too, so we can see which way is faster as we go. You're going to want to keep this moist so that sandpaper doesn't bind up on the headlight and just work it. Well, we've got our polishing attachment on here and we've got about that much compound. Let's see how that does. We'll go ahead and wipe our excess compound off and let's pull this tape off. Kind of start up here for dramatic effect and go as low as we can without getting any reflections from the sky. So didn't do it yet. Looks really nice. I have to say I'm impressed with that for about 10 minutes work. Uh, if you get much lower, you're gonna start getting the clouds, so you can't really tell much there. So you can kind of tell in this reflection the difference we're seeing so far. All right, let's try our other method. All right, so the other videos I've seen just say to wet the headlight. I don't think we need any tape for a toothbrush. And then get plenty of toothpaste on there, kind of spread it around, whatnot. Used plenty, it was only two bucks. And then just kind of take your toothbrush and go all over that headlight in circular motions. We're gonna start our stopwatch and see how long this takes. Well, we're back, we're at the seven minute mark and I tell you what I've learned so far that seven minutes is a long time to try to use a toothbrush on something. My fingers hurt. Let's see how the headlight looks though. Now we're still going to have this line where the tape edge was because it hasn't been worked as much, but that looks pretty good. If I didn't have a kit or a power drill, I would say it was probably worth all the scrubbing. Now that being said, this does look just a little bit yellower. I don't know if you can tell on camera and definitely more pitted on this side because we haven't taken as much of the surface contaminants off. But that would be acceptable if you didn't have any options. Real question is, how do these methods work on a headlight that's got a lot more age on it? That one's pretty yellow. Now for the second headlight, we won't video the step-by-step -step since it's going to be the same thing that we just saw. But uh, we'll get together at the end and compare the results and the two methods. Well, we're finished with the... Uh, 
the store-bought kit on this side. I have to say it took it off uh, pretty much like it did on the other side, which you'd expect. Let's see how the toothpaste does here. Well, there's after our tooth brushing. I've got to say, they look very close. Again, we've got our light tape line here that's not quite as good, but I'd even have to say the, uh, the side of the toothpaste looks a little bit clearer. Maybe this side could use a little bit more polishing, although we try to keep the times consistent. So what did we learn from all that? Well, I guess that if you've got, already got a power drill and about 27 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, that one of these kits from the auto parts store is going to make your headlights look about 100% better. These look really nice. Uh, also, if you have some light pitting in your headlights, uh, this gets them out and the other method didn't. However, I think that uh, if you don't have a power drill and you only have two bucks, uh, this is a really good method too. It worked about 90% as well. Uh, it went really fast, which I was surprised, and it didn't really seem to matter if it was on a lightly oxidized or a little heavier oxidized headlight. And really, as far as costs go, I've still got most of this tube left. So I'd say the cost on this was going to be 30 cents. Might take a little bit longer with this to get the headlights done, but I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but there's a big mess of compound from that power drill all over the front of this car. So any time you save with the power drill method, you're gonna use it up getting your car clean. Also with the power drill method, your headlights will look good, but they won't smell minty clean. Thanks for watching.